So, okay, guys. So now in the next question, the next numerical, this says that we have a one meter long uh, organ pipe which is open at both the ends. That means it's an open organ pipe. And for this pipe, what is given to us is that there is a gas which is kept inside which has density that is double the density of air. Okay. And what is given to us is the speed of sound that is in air given to us as 300 meter per second. The frequency difference between the fundamental and second harmonic of the pipe is going to be how much. So we know that in organ pipes, the frequency is related to velocity as nv by 2l, where n is a number which keeps on changing as per the harmonic. So if we speak about the first harmonic, which we say as the fundamental frequency, it will be n equal to 1. So it will be v by 2l. And if we try to find out the first overtone or second harmonic, it will become 2V by 2F. So question asks us to find out the value of the difference of F1 and F0, which will come out to be V by 2L. Okay. So that's basically what we are interested in finding for the pipe. Okay. This is what our area of interest is. But now we directly do not know the value of V, otherwise we know the value of L. So we will have to find out the velocity of sound in this organ pipe. Okay. So we know that velocity of sound will be under root of E by rho and for velocity of sound in pipe to velocity of sound in air, we can say that this will be under root of rho air by rho pipe. Okay, And in pipe, the density is double that of air. So this will come out to be under root 2 in denominator. So we can say that velocity of sound in pipe will be V air by root 2 and V air is given to us over here as 300. So that is 300 by root 2. Okay. So now this is the value that we were looking for so that we can put it here. So the difference of second harmonic and fundamental frequency will be V by 2L and V is 300 by root 2. So 2 root 2 and L value is 1 meter that is given to you here only. So when you simplify this guys, this value will come out to be close to 106 hertz. Okay. So the answer to this question will be 106. Nearest numerical integer value is 106 hertz. Okay. Cool. Next one is the question from optics. This says that a point object in air is in front of a curved surface of a plano convex lens. So we have a plano convex lens like this. And on the axis of it, you have an object and you know that the radius of this part, if we call it R2, is infinite. And what about this R1? R1 is given to you as 30 centimeter. Okay. Also, the refractive index of the material is given as 1.5. Question is asking us to find out the focal length. So not a very challenging question. We know the lens formula and that is 1 upon F equal to mu minus 1. 1 upon R1 minus 1 upon R2. So mu is given to us as 1.5 and uh, R1 is 30. Okay, I am intending to find out the value in uh, centimeters as that is what has been asked in the question also. Okay, So this is 1 upon 30 minus 1 upon infinity. So this 1 upon infinity part will become 0. And this is 0.5 minus 1.5 minus 1. So it will be 0.5 divided by 30. Or you can say it is 1 by 2 into 30. Or you can say that 1 upon f comes out to be 1 upon 60. Or the focal length is going to be 60 centimeter for the plano convex lens which is given to us. Okay. The answer is 60. Okay. Now the last numerical problem in this. There are four resistances which are given to us as 15, 12, 4 and 10 and they are arranged in cyclic order as we have drawn over here for formation of a Wheatstone bridge network. The resistance that is to be connected in parallel with 10 ohms to balance the network is going to be how much? So we know that for balancing of Wheatstone bridge, uh, 12 by 4 the ratio is going to be same for this 15 and the other resistance. So we know that 12 by 4 is going to be 3. So for this portion to give me the ratio as 15 by x to be 3, x should be equal to 
5 ohms. So this entire resistance effectively should come out to be 5 ohms. Why? Because 12 by 4 is 3. Okay. So guys, though it is quite simply visible that for 10 ohms to give me equivalent resistance as 5, the other resistance should also be equal to 10 ohms. But if it, that is too much to think, then we can say that the equivalent of this in parallel will be C R1 R2 upon R1 plus R2 that is 10 R upon 10 plus R which is equal to X that is 5. So 10 R is equal to 50 plus 5 R. This 5 R comes here and what are we left with is 5 R equal to 50. So R comes out to be 10 ohms. So as simple as that is the answer to this. We get the answer as 10 ohms to this one. Okay guys. So with this uh, we have done all the questions that were important from this J2020 paper of 8th of January shift 1 specifically as I said in the beginning also that the numerical questions are new for the students with respect to J main so that's why I have picked up all the questions like the previous one all the five questions which are numerical okay cool guys now if you are a student who's preparing from home and uh, as most of the students, you are not going to go to any classes or your schools as well. What I want for you guys to see from the slide is the sense of motivation because these are the ex Vedantu students from last year, that is 2019, and they appeared for J main, cleared it, and went for J advanced. And all the three students, they got their All India rank in the top 50. Of the country with Rajdeep Singh getting an all India rank 38, Chira getting the all India rank as 41, and Sumit getting all India rank 1 in PWD category. So, guys, if it is possible for these guys, I don't think it is any way different for you in terms of the possibilities. So, possibilities are equal, all you have to do is have a belief on yourself, take this guy's as sense of uh, motivation and inspiration. And tell yourself that if these guys can make it to IITs by just studying at home, then definitely I can also do that. Okay. Also to help you with your preparation, we have a crash course, the last batch of that, I think, which is going to start on 15th of June. Okay. And uh, this batch will have everything which we have been, uh, you know, uh, offering to all the crash course students. You will get 90 plus live sessions by all the best of the master teachers we have at Vedantu. You will have 20 comprehensive tests. You will get the analysis of, analysis of your own performance with rank booster quizzes during the lectures and a lot many things happen during this crash course. Okay guys, if you were not able to see this, I realized that. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. This batch is starting on 15th of June with 90 plus live lectures, 20 plus tests, your own performance analysis, rank booster quizzes and a lot more things are going to be offered to you guys. Okay, How you are supposed to enroll for this, if you are interested then go on this link which is available in the description box of this video. Use the coupon code SMCC and the crash course which is actually worth rupees almost 25,000 can be yours for just under 4,000 rupees. Okay guys. Let me tell you and show you how exactly that's possible. So on the video, this is the bottom part of this video, where if you will click on show more, this is where you will be able to see all the important links, including session PDF, uh, micro courses, the app of Vidantu, and this is where the crash course link is available. Okay, so if you click here and click on buy now, you will be directed to this page where you are supposed to put the coupon code as SMCC and then you can enroll for the course for just rupees 3999. Okay. Also guys, let me show you how exactly Vedantu's platform looks like. So this is how the platform looks like and uh, this is where I want to show you the timetable which you guys will have and you don't have to worry about making the timetable. You just have to follow as most of the students desire to. Okay. Apart from that, if you want, you can see your content here. It contains the content as per the syllabus of physics, chemistry, maths keeps on going. So this is the previous crash course demo that I'm showing you here. So say if I click on current electricity, you can attempt an assignment exactly in the same mode as you will appear. 
your JE examination. So when I click over there, it takes me to a screen which looks very much similar to how your JE main screen online examination will look like. So you can toggle from any question to any other question, select your question uh, as the correct answer. You can save it, go to the next. If you want, you can skip or deselect any option as well. Okay. Basically, it gives you the same feel as you will have when you will be appearing for the JE examination. Okay. Also, you can see that the study material is there for you to solve, uh, refer the theory part as well. So if you click on the first one, it will take you to something like this, which has the entire theory okay, of the, of the chapter. This is obviously chapter wise available. Then after that, all the practice questions from that particular chapter. Okay. Not just that, you don't have to wait for a class to happen to get to see your own questions, doubts, solution. Okay. So definitely you can discuss that in the class as well. But instantly say you are solving these sheets late at night and then you want to see whether you got the answer right or what was the actual procedure, you can refer it from your content library only. Okay. Not just that guys, study material with respect to multiple examinations and sample papers, previous year papers, everything is given over there. Okay. In content, you can separately appear for test as well. Okay. And there are a lot many important books which are also available. Okay, guys. So I hope this is something which you find uh, helpful. And just as a quick revision, all you have to do is click on that description box link. And then when you are directed to that page, click on the coupon and the coupon that you are supposed to put over there is SMCC. Okay. I hope that's understandable to everyone now. Okay. Also, guys, if you are interested in joining our uh, Vedantu's Telegram group for assignment solutions, study material and daily updates, that link is also available in the description box. So use that, have the Telegram app on your mobile phone and with that you will be able to join this uh, group of Vedantu J. Okay. So guys, this brings us to the end of this paper discussion. I hope you found it useful. If you did, then do press the like button for this one and share with your friends as well. And if you have not, then right now subscribe to the channel and press this bell icon so that you are notified whenever your Suri sir comes live for any paper discussion. Okay. So on that note, I'll take your leave and I'll see you very soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye and stay safe.